It's complete, official, and here. The latest edition of the Sires and Dams, North America's complete standard bred breeding and bloodline reference, is available for immediate shipment. To order, visit shop.ustrotting.com or call 877-800-USTA. In the thrilling final installment of the 1954 Little Brown Jug, only three horses remain. Phantom Lady, Adios Harry, and Queen's Adios. Two horses will be sent packing as the first to cross the finish line will be greeted with trophies, flowers, and a spot alongside Harness Racing's greats. And here they are, Pacing's Big Three of Philly and two Colts. Leading the way to the post is Phantom Lady. The odds against her winning are three to one. Adios Harry next in line is the public choice at the prohibitive rate of two to five. Behind him is Queen's Adios, also a three to one shot. These three are all that are left from among 759 standard reds that were nominated to the Little Brown Jug as yearlings, and in a short while, two of them are going to fall by the wayside. Only three of them behind that gate now, and once again, it's Eddie O'Sherry bursting out on top with Queen's Eddie O's on the outside. Adios tries briefly to make the front and then drops back to third behind Phantom Lady. Adios Harry still leads. Around the turn, it's the same order with Adios Harry setting pretty much his own pace. That last half mile to go, and still no change in the order. Last time down the back stretch now, and in a moment you'll begin to see them open up for the final drive. There, Jim Hackett is first out with Queen's Adios, and Phantom Lady goes to the clip is tremendous. Around the final turn they roll in a symphony of speed with Adios Harry maintaining his lead under stout pressure. Through the lane, it's Adios Harry just as he pleases. He's going easily as the others try desperately to catch up, but they can't do it today. It's Adios Harry all the way. Time for the mile is two, two and three fifths, and Adios Harry pays $2.80 to win. And here he comes back to the winner's circle with the flower bearers and the blanket holders ready to greet him. A little brown jug blanket is displayed. And Joe Neville congratulates on her lions and his son and poses with them for the photographer. Portrait of a great pacing champion, Adios Harry, winner of the 1954 Little Brown Jug. On her lions and sponsor Neville stand with the winner who collected better than $26,000 for his afternoon's work. And now the new champ leaves the circle and heads back for the barn. It's been a tough day for Adios Harry, but he made it look easy. As his owner said in the winner's circle, too bad he was a little bit off, or he'd really have shown you something. Man, oh man, he must be something when he's right. That's a real racehorse, that one. A champion from the word go. <laughs>